for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to you, FIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites, and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 36 of the Liverpool career mode here on FIFA 15. We start with a friendly today away from home against Lille. Of course, during the uh, the pre-season time and the friendlies are going on, I will show you minimal highlights from uh, the friendlies. And then, of course, once we get to the competitive games, we'll uh, we'll have more extended highlights as per the uh, the usual episodes during the season. But uh, we're actually going to get off to a decent start. Douglas Costa with a good, nice turn inside. And Daniel Sturridge with a beautiful finish on his left-hand side to, uh, to put us one in in front in the 33rd minute. Sturridge of course retaining his starting position in the side with Mario Balotelli moving on in the previous episode. If you missed anything from that episode then uh, check the uh, the link in the bottom left hand side of your screen or of course check the channel page and you can find out all of the transfer business which we've done so far of which there has been quite a bit actually and we'll be continuing that later on in this episode. But Sturridge picks up his and our second a few minutes later. Then in the second half we gave a couple of players a chance on the pitch that haven't had a chance to do so for us yet. Of course, uh, Ariki was on loan last year and Eduardo Vargas is a new signing this year. And it was actually uh, Eduardo Vargas who was going to get his first chance of the game uh, just a few minutes later. Going to be involved in this move to uh, round off the move. Nice bit of pace to get around the defence. It's only a top save by the goalkeeper that stops him from scoring on his... Uh, kind of unofficial debut and then Ariki is going to get his chance as well a bit of a strong challenge in the middle there but then the two defenders mix themselves up and Ariki gets played through but uh, not the best of finishes and another good save by their goalkeeper keeps them uh, kind of in the game but with 10 minutes to go there wasn't really too much happening and then we ended up winning 2-0 anyway so a Sturridge brace gives us a victory in our first pre-season friendly away from home in France against one of the better signs in France actually Lille so we're pleased with that we're also trying to bring in a goalkeeper as well of course we've moved on Rene Adler he was part of his Deal to bring in uh, Socrates yesterday from Borussia Dortmund so we're looking to bring in another goalkeeper to take that number one spot and uh, Gianluigi Buffon is one of the players we're looking at we're also looking at uh, Stefan Ruffier as well we're also potentially looking at Petr Cech, but it looks like he's going to cost too much but we're trying to minimize the outgoing cost for uh, a potential goalkeeper because of course we still want a centre mid as well but right now uh, as you can see confirmation that Mario Balotelli has gone to Paris Saint-Germain and uh, we'll be able to use that £24 million pounds uh, into the transfer kitty from the total £29 million uh, deal to uh, go towards bringing in some new players as well. Stefan Ruffier now offering £12 million pounds plus Iago Aspas. Uh, it seems that uh, Juventus don't want any players in return for uh, any of their uh, their players, so it's going to be a straight-up cash deal for Buffon if we want to bring him in. Of course, we were looking at Chiellini earlier on in the window, but we went with Socrates, so uh, we'll try and bring in Buffon if we possibly can. We'll have to wait and see whether they'll accept that. Uh, 16 million pound offer and uh, of course again wait and see what happens with uh, with Ruffier for the cash plus Iago Aspas deal but as you can see into the second friendly now uh, playing a rotation ish side with a few uh, few youngsters a few uh, kind of fringe players as well because the next game that uh, will come in tomorrow's episode is actually going to be a live comp of the Community Shield so uh, we actually don't have that much time in uh, today's episode to get stuff done which is why it is a little bit shorter of course and uh, it would have been longer but obviously I want to make the uh, the Community Shield a live comp one-off game and actually they're going to get themselves back on level terms here Sampdori with a great volleyed effort and as I record this on Monday there's actually a bit of uh, drama in the transfer window regarding Sampdoria I don't know whether you guys have seen it obviously they signed Samueletto on uh, on a minimal fee, I believe it was. Maybe even, uh, I think it may have even have been a loan deal. But as you can see, Human Sun giving us a 2-1 lead there. But uh, yeah, Samueletto gone to Sampdoria on a, on either a loan or a permanent deal and uh, refusing to train after they lost at the weekend. The manager told them that all of their players in the squad that he wanted them to uh, to have double sessions this week in training. And Samueletto has uh, snuck, sneakily snuck out in uh, after the first training session so it seems like he may be causing a bit of trouble at Sampdoria may not even be there by the end of this week so real drama in the transfer window in real life and uh, potential for drama here in the last few minutes in the second friendly Sampdoria with a great free kick through Manolo Gabbiadini who actually again in real life isn't at Sampdoria anymore he's moved to Napoli in the transfer window IRL so uh, should we take on the uh, the role of Napoli manager at some point later on in the year in FIFA 15 whether it be uh, a new series or following on as a managerial offer in another series then uh, 
we may have ourselves Manolo Gabbiadini at our disposal. But as you can see, we've had the offer accepted for Gian Luigi Buffon and we're going to be offering him a contract. Only wants a one-year deal and I'm not too sure uh, whether that is going to be enough to bring him in. Of course, he might be one of the players that uh, kind of stays loyal to their club, as you may expect Buffon to do. So we may have to find ourselves going in for Stefan Ruffio, which is why I'm kind of trying to do the, the, the two deals at the same time so that if one falls through, we can fall back on the other. But... Offers accepted for, uh, oh, fee-wise accepted for both. And now we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, the contract offers for both. As you can see, we still have a rather sizable transfer budget left. And I do still want to bring in uh, an another centre mid as well as a goalkeeper. And we've still three or four players we want to move on as well. Otherwise, we're going to have a massive squad in this second year. So I definitely want to move some players on. Plenty of time to do so. Tomorrow's video will be a live one-off game against uh, the Chelsea in the Community Shield at Wembley. And then, of course, Thursday will go up until the Palace game and actually play the Palace game. So we may even go up as far as the Everton game. And uh, then uh, on Friday's episode, to round the week out, we'll have the Everton game and transfer deadline day. And hopefully we can bring in some more players before the window is out. But we're pretty strong right now. Great strength in depth, despite the fact that some of the players that are part of that strength in depth will be hopefully leaving us between now and uh, August the 31st. But if you enjoyed the video, then drop the video a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be streaming tonight as you see this on Tuesday. And uh, the, no, actually, it's Tuesday, so I won't be streaming tonight tonight sorry there's the Cambridge Man United replay so there will be no stream tonight tomorrow I'll be starting a football manager stream though so definitely check the Twitch channel for that if uh, you want to make sure that's something you want to watch so uh, follow the Twitch channel and follow me on Twitter to stay bang up to date with everything that happens both YouTube and Twitch wise and uh, there'll be links in the description to uh, both of those as well as my Instagram and my Facebook again apologies that it's a little bit shorter today but like I say wanted to make sure that uh, we got the community shield as it's uh, a game that we can win some silverware in wanted to make that that kind of a one-off special again with a live comm. So that will be coming to you tomorrow. But for now, that will bring today's episode to a close. There will be my player later on tonight. And uh, unfortunately, like I say, no stream. But we'll be streaming tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.